Hey guys, um, I wanted to make a video. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video and this past week has really been up and down. Um, and for, at 4th of July, I was able to get a hamburger. Um, cannot eat chips, but I knew that that wasn't gonna be something I was gonna be able to eat anytime soon anyway. Um, corn is really hard for me to eat just because my extraction sites are just so sore right now. Once they heal, I'm pretty sure I can chomp on anything. Um, this week has introduced me to bone spurs and oh my God, wow. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have like seven coming out right now. Just the tip of them is like the sharpest piece hanging out of your gum. Um, I don't know why I'm having so many uh, but it's making my upper denture just painful as I'll get out. Um, it hurts for it to be in there. Uh, when I do put it in there and I um, get the section going, just the tightness on it just hurts. Um, it just It's very uncomfortable. But when you get your teeth pulled, that's a risk that you take and you deal with. Unless you have an avioplasty or something like that, which I did not have. Um, I guess that's just normal. Um, uh, I did not have a reline this week. Um, I go next week for my reline. Um, my denture fit stuff has worked wonderful, even though I have noticed, um, my gums are starting to shrink a little bit. Um, so my tight fit isn't as tight, but all I gotta do is put some more in there and I'll be wonderful. Um, and even though it is a little loose, it's not like falling out of my mouth or anything like that. It just, I can feel like, you know, air bubbles back there. But it's really, honestly, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Um, I kind of had a pity party this week. Um, just feeling like I hate these things. Um, which I don't. But there are days that I just hate the feeling of my mouth feeling full. Um, and constantly feeling like something's in the roof of your mouth. And I'm sure over time I'll get used to that, but it just sucks. Like I don't, and I notice it a lot more if I'm yelling, I'm um, like yelling at my kids or, you know, arguing. Um, it's like, I can feel it so much more than I normally could. Um, and I miss being able to yell without having to feel like there's something huge in my mouth. Uh, but, um, Monday will be my one month mark of having 12 teeth pulled and two implants put in the bottom. Um, things have definitely gotten better. So if you are just starting this journey, know that your first week, your second week, um, may not be that good, but as you go on, um, things will be so much better. Uh, let's see, started going to the gym. Um, I went one time, but I would like to go more. Um, did feel kind of insecure when I went just because it was around people that I didn't know. And automatically I feel like people just look at my teeth. And as I was talking to the guy to give him my address and everything like you have to do, um, to go in there, um, he had me repeat myself and I'm like, uh, okay, um, does he know that I have dentures? You know, am I not talking right? Am I lisping? You know, what? Um, so it kind of made me just a little on the, you know, uncomfortable feeling side. But, oh well. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to make a video and just kind of let y'all know what I was doing and how things have been and, um, I'm actually going to get my hair done tomorrow. Yeah, look at those roots. <laughs> um, and I'm going to my, like I said, my hairstylist knows what I had done and um, everything. And so I'm excited to show her and um, let her know how everything's been going and all that fun stuff. And I really, really wish that I did not have to keep swallowing every time I talk. It's like a friggin' tick. Like, I have to do it. Like, it's like, if I don't do it, it's like my body starts going in weird mode or freak out mode. I'm like, I have to do it. <laughs> it's so weird. 
and I don't know why I do it. I don't know if it's because it feels like it's drying out or what, but I feel like I have to constantly swallow and I don't like that. Is there anything that you all do that stops that? Like, do I need to drink more water? You know, what do I need to do? Um, but uh, I've really been using um, Staying Away this week. Um, I notice if I drink a lot of coffee or tea, these won't be super, super white. And I've been using Staying Away, um, and that has definitely brightened them back up. Like today, I let these sit in Staying Away for about an hour and a half. Um, and they're really, really white. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are having a great day. And if your E-Day is coming up, know that you'll get through it. Even though it seems kind of scary. Well, it doesn't seem kind of scary. It is scary. Um, just know that you can get through it. And you'll come out better than ever. It just may not seem it at first. But I promise you, you will. Because I thought the same way. And, uh... I just wanted to shout out to the most amazing girl, my friend Kayla, who also has a YouTube channel on here, and I will put her link down here in the bottom because, the bottom, put down here in the bottom, because if you do not watch her video, seriously, you're missing out. She's so funny, and she has this amazing personality that it's infectious, and you just got to watch her video, and you got to be near, and you got to talk to her. Um, so definitely check out her video too. But I hope you guys have a great um, weekend and stay safe and have fun.